What's up, YouTube? Me and Elwood out here. I had to go to Walmart, pick up some things. But what we're going to do today is two reviews in one. I'm going to do a review on this built bag right here and the SA Company face mask. But for now, I will just sit back and relax. I need to get me some 93 dead dinosaurs. That's what I need to do. All right, all right, all fueled up. 93 dead dinosaurs in the tank. Let's go do this review. Since I don't have a garage, we'll be doing this at the park. One day I'll have a garage and we'll do all the reviews inside the garage. It probably won't be as hot. I'll be more comfortable. But hey, it is what it is for right now. Nice little park town, you know, kids go and play. Whatever. Right there is where I took the very first pictures of Elwood before he was Elwood, of course. It's a little more stable than the other one because everybody comes to this one. So the ground has uh, been kind of packed down. Alright, let's get this review on. What's up YouTube? We're back. Just got off the bike, going to do a review of this built V2 expander bag right there. I'll throw up some shots of it uh, inside, outside, on the bike, and then we'll get to the review. Let's go right now. All right, I bought this bag for 40 bucks. 40 bucks at Cycle Gear, and um, I like it. Like it a lot. It is, uh, of course, it's built luggage. Pretty good name in the, in the luggage industry. Would you say? Yes. Um, it's got um, 600 denier. Let's say 600D because I don't know how to pronounce it and we just got to roll with that. Uh, material, it's, I would say it's semi water resistant. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it's got eight magnets on the back of it to keep it uh, secure on your bike. Nice carry handle. You want to take it with you. Um, it also comes with a strap for your 
little D-rings right there so you can shoulder bag it. Uh, ooh, let's see. And it's got this elastic stuff. I don't really know what you call this, but I usually just keep my hat. But you know, I put my hat in there and it stays put. You know, as you saw in uh, some of the videos on the bike, I put my hat right there. Um, it's got this plastic screen that uh, you know you put your phone in there, or I don't know if you have a small map or you know spam cards. You put that in there. Uh, nice little, nice little zipper. It's not YKK or anything, but it is a nice zipper. Um, the only drawback to this is when it gets wet and like humid, you're gonna get that you know that moisture in there, but it, it wipes right out and everything's fine. Um, also, you can't if you put your phone in there, you can't use uh, you can't really use a touch screen without like pressing your finger through through your phone trying to really touch the icons. So, um, you know, if you just want to hold your phone in there, that that's perfect. But anything other than that, you're going to have a problem, uh, you know, pressing Pandora or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to press. Um, it's got this little, this little strap thing here. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what that's for. I have not a clue what that's for. And it's also got a over there I mean I guess if you were gonna you know I guess if you had some you know, I figured it out hot damn it look 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 at me I mean I guess if you wanted to use this as like a tail bag or something bam I done figured it out for you but I use this as a tank bag but now that I think about it I might go tail bag one two times um, but, uh, all right, cool, put that, I'll put that back up later, uh, yeah, so, oh, also, let's look at the, um, expander, it, uh, is a, is a good expansion on it, you can really put some extra stuff in there, clothes, if you want to the gym, you put some clothes in there and just pop it up, and you've got all kinds of space. That feature. I should go to the gym. I should. Um, all right, let's get inside the bag. There we go. Um, so yeah, nice deep um, main compartment. Uh, it's got these little plastic things on the side right there. If you can, you can see that. Um, sometimes they stay. I think. I think the weather might be having an effect on with the humidity and stuff, but that's the south. I can't do nothing about that. Um, be a nice deep pocket. Um, you know, of course, the back, the bottom has some cushion in it. Um, so earlier I was talking about it being kind of water resistant. Uh, I've been caught in the rain with this twice, and everything in there, right in this area here, right there, it was dry. Um, this part kind of got a little wet, but everything in there that I have in there is, you know, it's not like it shredded it or disintegrated it or anything, but, uh, so it's, it's slightly water resistant. I would say, you know, if you get caught real quick, all your stuff is not going to, going to, uh, die. Uh, we have a nice little mesh compartment. I usually just keep, I keep a notebook in there, uh, paperwork. And a pen, you never know what you got to write down. Um, again, one of those nice, it's a nice zipper. Again, not YKK or anything, but yeah, nice deep, uh, deep pocket right there. You put some, put some stuff in there. And uh, you know, if I had to rate it, uh, you know, one to five so far, I'd give it, you know, I'd give it a four because you know I don't think anything ever really gets a five without being you know hundreds of dollars, but. For forty dollars, this is definitely, definitely worth the price. Um, again, I bought this at Cycle Gear for forty dollars, and uh, that was about a month ago, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Out here in the park, because I don't have a garage. Um, so forty dollars at Cycle Gear. You can probably, you might be able to find it somewhere cheaper, maybe Rosella or JP Cycles or something like that. Shout out. Um, 
but it is well worth the price if you're looking for a rather a cheaper luggage solution or storage solution definitely look up the belt v2 expander bag bam review on the, the built v2 expander bag i'm also going to do a review of the sa company or alpha company i think they're the same thing um face mask that i wear here and there so stay tuned company face mask these things are awesome this one here of course always supports your local law enforcement thin blue line and if you're into the fire department they got one of those too because thin red line is important too someone's got to put out the fires fire extinguishers on everything um, just saying but yeah I like to have about seven of these um, they come in a bunch of different designs um, you can usually find them on Facebook or Instagram where they run like a deal. You get like three of these and a hat or um, four, you know, you buy one and you get four free. They're really comfortable. I use them not only when I'm riding, I use them for yard work. Um, anything that I can, I mean, even if I'm going to start sweating or if I don't want to breathe it in, bam, this thing is awesome. Uh, SPF 40 and microfiber material. I mean, it's really soft inside and out. Um, you could wear it as uh, one of those uh, neck gaiter, I think that's what they call it, right? Um, I said a face mask, uh, headband, something, you know, when I, I'm just holding it, I use it as a wristband there. So there, they are super, super versatile. And like I said, they're really not expensive, and for the money that they cost, you get them, uh, let's see, I think when I bought my first set, it was like 5 for $24. You can't really beat that, especially for as much as they do. So, if I had the choice, would I buy them again? Yes, I would, and I did. I would say that you can't beat it. You really, you can't beat it. Um, so, but if you're gonna do it, uh, you wanna get like the deal, you gotta make sure you find them on like Facebook. Cause if you don't find them on Facebook or Instagram, you gotta, you know, pay the normal price. Oh, the South, how I hate you so. Love bugs, man, love bugs. Useless. But yeah, definitely look into SA Company face mask. I mean, it's a quick review because I mean it's it's a very simple thing that does a lot of things. It's kind of like a multi-tool, if you will. Um, but I like the designs. I got one that is um, a shark, a zombie, a skull, another skull, uh, smoke. I got one that's like. Um, Something like a Dia de los Muertos one. Um, did I say zombie? If I didn't say zombie, I got one that looks like a zombie. And um, yeah, these things are awesome and they're so soft. So, you know, if you want to like, oh, you make it a do rag, just so much. Um, so, yeah, SA Company. Definitely look them up. I'll put a link in the description for not only the uh, SA Company website so you can get your face mask but also the v2 expander bag by built so with that said those are the reviews make sure you like comment share it because we're trying to we're trying to reach as many people as possible so make sure you share it and you gotta smash that subscribe button for now i'm out